Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be up against, um, well, Smart2099, Alsari of War, and Sector, and I'm gonna be with John Wick and Mahmoud, uh, Mah Mahmoud Qatar. Alright, now let's go jump straight into it, and of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and smash the like button, and then of course, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content similar to this one, and or more epic ones. Alright, so I'm the middle guy. Yep, I'm going to be at the front here, so I'm going to be taking a lot of beatings from these guys. My partners are going to be at the back support. Alright, and so, John Wick being the yellow player and Mah Mahmoud Qatar will be the green player. And so, I did advise them that I'll take the, take the container in the middle right here, in the side, and also whatever that is here. Now, Dragonfly, Armadillo, Wasp, level 3 HQ. Okay, and we try and attempt to get this container right around here. So, these guys attempted or spent money for that fortress as well as plenty of assault. And the Cerberus. There you go. Also a Typhoon right there. Okay. And it was demolished. A gun tower here from the blue guy preventing any attack. Cerberus again from the purple player. Wasp here for Mahmood. Okay, quite nice. Okay. And another server is from the CN player. Wow. Now we got like three wasps going on around here. All my dragon flash has been obliterated. Additional or reinforcement from the blue typhoons from the CN and fortress from the CN as well. Okay now. Now if you may have noticed the initial resources I did invest to get this container is actually no longer worth it. And versus the resources spent by all three players just to obtain that super container. Yep, not really worth it. Meanwhile, while all that is going on, I'm actually developing my base with 7 supply centers, level 3 vehicle factory, dragonfly salamander, and of course a porcupine. Okay, so in the end, we did not manage to get that super container, but that's completely fine. As, of course, we don't want to overspend resources just to grab a resource worth, um, I don't know, uh, 600 resources if you have max skill point or skill rank for the resource uh, per container skill. Okay, going HQ level th uh, 4, same thing for my partners. They are doing well. Scout right here revealing what I have. And that fortress will be annihilated before the scout. And then I'm going to have to deal some... Uh, damage on that Cerberus. More Dragonflies here on my end. Now, the reason why I'm opting out for Dragonflies is because they don't really need a pathway for them to traverse the road. Since they are aviation, they can pass through some landscape without obstructing the, well, land or pathfinding or whatever you call it. Now, given that idea, I'm going to be opting out for a Mehmet, Porcupine, Dragonfly. Those are the army composition that I'm going to go out uh, go out with as of course to defend anything on land as well as on the air and support my partners as of course Dragonfly has power of mobility. Okay, you see here a Seraphim trying to get rid of my vehicle factory. But of course a Dragonfly is very versatile that it can somewhat defend against the air. There you go. Okay, nice defense, I have to say. Going level 3 prototype facility to get that Leviathan out. Okay, keep in mind that I only have a Salamander level 3, if you guys noticed that. I only have level 3, or class 3 Salamander. Not really that much, but the skill can be quite useful against the Seraphim as it can still deal 20 to 30% damage in an instant. Okay, so adding another special vehicle factory, Leviathan is already in production, plenty of dragonflies here. Let's see what my partner has. Okay, he's trying to obtain that super container right there, Mahmoud uh, Qatar. And uh, going for a uh, Leviathan here on his end. Meanwhile, John Wick with uh, Vertex and uh, I presume Albatross and level 4 HQ. Scout with the Hawk right there, very good information as we really needed those. Okay, now, more um, porcupine here on my end. Seraphim scout there, or trying to fish out an attack. Vertex scout, which has been annihilated. Leviathan from all three sides, I guess. 
And of course, um, he still has level 2. Okay. Alright, nothing crazy here so far. Also, he already has level 3 Avia Factory to house those Albatross. Going Prototype Facility level 3 for a Leviathan. Meanwhile, um, Mahmoud Qatar actually attacking with a small detachment here. Getting rid of that Zeus is actually very, very nice. Or bruising it up. However, a Seraphim here uh, to the rescue, trying to somewhat annihilate the attack here. Okay, shield's already out, and, and there is that Solaris right there. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, escape, 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 escape. Please. Oh, okay. Seraphim right around here chasing after the JCP from Mahmoud Qatar. However, it's not really going to work out, and that Seraphim has been destroyed. Yeah. Okay, Scott's right here revealing that the CM player is plotting something right there on the side of the map. Meanwhile, Mammoth here in production. I actually spammed buildings right around here. Gun towers here, as you guys can see. Okay, now the initial plan was to help out my partner, Mahmoud Qatar, to attack here on this side. However, as I noticed that this guy is building his army can't run around here, and... John Wick doesn't really have enough as he opted out for aviation. So he had less on land due to the fact that he invested tons of resources for the Leviathan and the Albatross, which can later be really, really useful. Knowing all that, I informed them that I'll be moving on to this side to somewhat defend against this attack. Now let's see how this will turn out. Okay, here we go. An attack coming right here from Mahmoud Qatar. Oh, almost taking out that Solaris. Okay, Scott here with an assault, and here goes the CN player. Again, multiple things happening at the same time. Okay, so Solaris or Seraphim actually took out a, a gun tower that is in production. And here goes my army of Dragonfly, uh, Wasp, and Leviathan. And then, of course, the Leviathan, Dragonfly, or Jaguar from John Wick. Acid Burn or Acid Strike has been uh, dropped right there. Mahmoud Qatar actually going to retreat against that two forces here from the purple and the blue. And here we go. Okay, solid Acid Burn right there or Acid Strike. Boo! Took out two units right there and severely damaging the rest. And of course, I'm going to have to chase after anything that is retreating right there, especially that shield and everything that can be picked up. Meanwhile... Ooh, wow, a solid bombing run right there. However, that um, X facility is still alive. His army is marching towards Mahmoud Qatar. And this is severely, very, very bad. And so, there was a mistake here that I placed all my porcupines in this location. As, of course, I wanted to follow up with this attack. Okay, Salamander here with the skill. Boom. Okay, not really that much damage. Of course, the shield is in boy. But still, damage is damage, and it's gonna be good. Meanwhile, my partner here is under attack from both the purple and the blue. And then, of course, that Seraphim trying to lay waste onto my army because my porcupines are out of position. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have to take out that Solaris from the CM player. And, of course, everything that he has here delaying his attack later on uh, at, at the later stages of the game. Meanwhile... Uh, my partner here, oh man, oh, solid hit with the Solaris right there. Very nice hit. Okay, uh, John Wick with the assist here to defend against that um, blue and purple, also, as well as my porcupines and mammoths around here, defending on the side. And then those albatross, will they bomb effectively? Oh, disgusting damage right there, taking out a bunch of units that are not covered by the shield. Meanwhile, these Vertex are trying to get rid of my Leviathan that has maxed out anti-air. One or two Vertex is not going to be scary enough against that Leviathan, even though it's badly bruised up. And here you go. Yep, this attack at right here is going to be completely demolished, attacking from huge chunk of surface right there from the side and at the front. Meanwhile, they'll be cleaned up. Meanwhile, I also have this, uh, you know, I also got this right here. To collect that super container and then of course deal some huge chunk of damage on that army from the sea end. 
going HQ level 5 and if you count my supply centers I got a total of 10 supply centers for a maximum of 1435 resources per minute and will will be more in a few seconds or in half a minute now I was actually getting cocky as to somewhat you know attack this blue player right here defending or building some defensive buildings right here and also yeah and also some stuff to attack him there you go and here we go right here he has plenty of units and for some reason i don't know how this guy knew that i will have something produced right here as it is impossible for you to see this far even with a air av attack boost and so again this guy right here will use the solaris to attack my buildings that are in construction so i mean it is apparently weird that he saw all this from afar okay maybe it's possible for this gun tower to see that construction i don't know okay so i got this thing going on around here a meat bag and then of course the dragonfly the leviathan to chase after anything that will attack it from that small concave and that's primarily the reason why as to i had a uh, a mammoth and a dragonfly composition Okay, purple player attacking right here with five typhoons, four Zeus, a Solaris, and a Cerberus. My partner Mahmoud Qatar will be retreating. This guy right here will have his army um, positioned right over there, and I'm actually afraid of that flank. Okay. All right. So the main plan here is to somewhat siege up the blue player using the mammoths, for he cannot really do anything against it. However, with the flanking opportunity that this guy had here i'm going to have to retreat as of course i don't want everything here to be ravaged by their forces and i also acted as the perfect bait with this act right here causing them to attack me all at once as you guys can see there's like the cn player the purple player the blue player right in front of my gate right there and here we go now I got like my mammoths right here, Leviathan, Dragonfly, and a Wasp, a nuclear here from my Leviathan, dropping at that CM player's army, Kabloy, using defense boost, and then the Albatross to follow up, okay, not really that much difference of HP, although majority of the damage, there goes, the ones that's flanking me are actually getting flanked by Mahmoud Qatar, very good engagement right there. Meanwhile, John Wick's army is in the middle of my base, preventing any attack here from coming as he uses that high ground advantage. Very good right here. Very good teamwork here, I would say. However, I did advise Mahmoud Qatar to ignore that army and head straight to his base and destroy some important infrastructure. And I also have the mole right around there to support any army from my partner to repair it. And then, of course, another nuclear dropping right there. Very, very good. And the uh, army of the purple has been cleaned up. Okay. Wasp has been destroyed. Oh, man. That Leviathan is so low on HP. Okay, now. And again, they're still pushing forward here. However, I get my, my mammoths and the jaguars at the back of my buildings right there. Dealing damage on top of that cliff. Okay. I'm also using that mole to beat up the uh, you know, to act as a meat bag. As you can see, it's actually successful. And there you go. Majority of the units here from the blue and the purple are cleaned up. The Amp player's army is still intact. However, with the absence of the shield or that shield running out of energy is actually a huge game changer. Not a good active skill activation there. Okay, two moles here. Okay. Majority of the army has been cleaned up from the CN player. So all three players' army has been cleaned up. And here we go. The Albatross bombing run from John Wick. Let's see. Okay, there you go. Ooh, huge chunk of damage. Oh, another one. Ooh, so close. Just a hairline visual presentation of a hairline HP. Okay, recovery boost here. Good skill activation, taking out a bunch of my mammoths. All right. Meanwhile, my Leviathan is here as well as that. Misstep of a nuclear launch right there. It is not going to be enough. 
or it is not really accurate as it is a dumb um, mistouch from my phone screen that's been broken. Okay, here you go. See Yan player also attacking right there. And we see here some of the army of the purple as well. Okay, going back to my base or my side of things. My mole is low on HP. Again, I'm using a recovery boost to recover the HP of that mole as best as I can. And then, of course, I changed to an air raid boost against that Seraphim protected by... Um, yeah, Seraphim against my Leviathan protected by Porcupines and Dragonfly. And here we go. Again, I managed to successfully defend this attack right there with just Mammoths and Avia, uh, primarily Dragonfly. And so, let's see how my partner is doing here. John Wick expanding his base with more airfield to house more aviation. CN player is uh, looking a little bit tough right there. Mahmoud Qatar moving out to attack. And so, I am just uh, skimming throughout behind the scenes here. Acting as the primary meat bag against everyone. Um, every confederation. Okay. Recovery boost to recover the HP of my uh, Leviathan. And again, here we go. Ooh, man, those uh, chameleons are so behind. Okay. This guy right here attacking. Okay, took out a building and two Jaguars with the expense of his Solaris that are going to be chunked up by my Mammoths, the Dragonfly, and the Leviathan. And this attack will be easily cleaned up due to lack of scouting. He was taken technically taken by surprise this blue player will take the opportunity that some of my mammoths are not here good skill activation from the blue guy and i'm going to have to go back to again um defend against the blue and not let him enter my base there's also an engagement right here which ended in uh, mahmoud Qatar falling back here and those albatross actually took out a vehicle factory on that side of the base so let's see what's going on right here. Will he be attacking more? Okay, two more power plants been taken out. That's uh, 500 resources. And here we go. The attack right here will be cleaned up. Uh, John Wick with a very, very good uh, surgical bombing right there. As soon as the majority of the Typhoon's been destroyed, he is actually moving into attack. Purple player attacking or yeah attacking right here or moving his army right around here he's going to have to retreat as the army is already here from the purple he's going to use his uh buildings to act as a meat bag to defense or delay against the attack meanwhile i'm going to have to assist him with the mimics and the dragonfly that i got going on over here to defend his base okay that seraphim is getting dangerously close to those airfields where the albatross is housed and so, I'm going to have to split my army here and use the Dragonfly to defend against that Seraphim. Um, John Wick using the Albatross before the Seraphim can actually deal damage. Meanwhile, Purple player here attacking um, the base of Mahmoud Qatar. That Solaris will be destroyed. Let's see. Solid bombing run. Okay. And again, one more. Ooh, man, that's very close. Okay, majority of the purple players, uh, yeah, purple players' army has been taken care of. However, at the expense of majority of infrastructure here from Mahmoud Qatar, the green player. Blue player has been annihilated here as well, thanks to my mammoths. As you guys can see, the mammoth count here is insane. And uh, this army from the purple will be repelled. Non-stop bombing run here from John Wick. Okay, bombing the CN player. He's also moving out his army. CN player attacking me at the front as well. They really like my nuts. Yeah, man, nothing tastes better than Tracy's balls. Yeah. <laughs> okay, acid strike right there. Nuclear to follow up. Of course, Dragonfly here has additional firepower and support and a meat bag as well. Kablooey. Nice attack right there. And that Zeus will try and attempt to obtain those super containers which Mahmoud Qatar will obtain. John Wick will take the fight onto the CM player as his army is uh, has just been wiped out. And here you go, my man. Both the army of the CN and the blue player has been wiped out by my army as well as Mahmoud Qatar's participation. And that Solaris will not really do much against this many Jaguars and a Leviathan right here. Let's see how this goes. 
Okay, so it's a back and forth battle from here. And ooh, just look at the mammoth count. That is so critical number, man. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have to retreat for a moment here as there are plenty of anti ears from both the blue and the CN right there. I don't want to overextend. Okay, and um, John Wick with an official um, great damage here. Okay, Mahmoud Qatar on the other hand has been dealing with the purple player, launching the nuclear, devastating damage on the unit side on the right. And then of course, oh man, nice uh, skill activation. Okay, his uh, communities have run out of energy. In the meantime, I'm getting into a position to siege the blue player. And at this point, due to that um, small chunk of entry and exit, there's absolutely nothing you can do against this many mammoths raining rampage from afar and a high ground view from the Leviathan. Now let's see here. Those albatross are going to somewhat do a finishing blow here with bombing the X facility and the vehicle factory at the same time taking out a factory and two buildings. Seraphim already popped out here. However, there's like plenty of porcupines right around there from John Wick leftover units. And this blue guy right here could not really do anything. And yeah, some of my mammoths are actually firing at the side. And Mahmoud Qatar is still here trying to somewhat deal against this purple player. Meanwhile, that Seraphim will obviously be destroyed. Rocket Tower dunking on that mole. <laughs> and this guy right here will not be able to do anything. A nuclear from Mahmoud Qatar launching on that purple player kablooey wow an epic <laughs> epic damage right there all right i mean i guess at this point it's clearly um clear as day as to who will win this battle so there you go kablooey epic teamwork and the uh, dragonfly mammoth and the uh wasp and mole are actually very very useful and as you guys can see right there, yep, that's the only thing I used in this battle and nothing else. Yay! So yeah, if you guys like this video, again, make sure to subscribe and smash the like button. Ring the bell icon to be notified of any content similar to this one on my channel. And uh, also, I do have guide videos for you to check out. This includes guides for um, the fastest build order, the best build order, which unit to upgrade and what to upgrade and how to upgrade your heroes properly. Again, thank you so much for your time. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Okay, so let's just wait until the end. Yes, partners in love. G G. Bye. Victory. Resistance in bar. Yay.